In this video, we are going to talk about the Risa Revit link and how it integrates with Risa Connection. In the latest version of the link, we added integration between Risa Connection and Revit. So now you can assign your structural connections in Revit and send those over to Risa Connection for design. Here I have a sample model of a frame in Revit, and the first thing we're going to want to do is load the connection types we plan to use in our model. To do that, you'll want to go under the Structure tab in Revit, and underneath their connection section, there's a little arrow here that we're going to want to click on to open up the connection settings. I already have a few connections loaded that I plan to use in the model. After the connections are loaded, you're ready to assign them to the model. I already have a few connections assigned, but I'm going to add another one to this beam and column over here. To assign the connection, highlight both the beam and the column. Next, we're going to want to go back to the Structure tab and click on this Connection button. This will automatically assign a connection type, which I've loaded, to this connection. And you can see over here we could change it to one of the other options, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it as a clip angle. With the connection highlighted, we can go ahead and double click on it to open up the Revit connection properties. And in here we could go ahead and change the angle size, the bolts, or the other connection properties. I'm going to go ahead and add a weld to this connection instead of it being bolted. So now I've welded the clip angle to both the beam and the column, and we can see the change made graphically to our model. After assigning the connections to our model, we can input the loads for the member end forces, which will transfer over to Risa Connection for design. To input the member end forces, click on a member in your model. So I'll click on this beam, and underneath the properties, select the analytical beam. To see the member end forces, scroll down on the analytical beam's member information, and you'll see the start and end forces here. If the Revit model was imported from Risa 3D or Risa 4, these reactions would automatically transfer as long as the beam end reactions box was checked when you imported the Risa model into Revit. The edit button under the member forces will allow the user to either input the forces or edit the ones that they had before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave these as is since these came over from my Risa structural model, so my end reactions are already set. All of these connections that I've assigned in my Revit model are going to transfer over to Risa Connection for design. To send these connections to Risa Connection for design, you'll want to click on the Add-ins tab and there's this Export Connections button at the top. So we'll go ahead and click that. This opens up the Export to Risa Connection dialog box, and there's a few options in here. The first checkbox here is to launch Risa Connection after I export these connections. And this is useful if you have both Revit and Risa Connection on the same machine. But if for some reason you don't and um, the Revit user wants to send the connection file off to the engineer for design, they can go ahead and uncheck this and all it will do is just create a Risa connection file which they can then send to the engineer on their computer which has Risa connection. The Risa connection user will be able to open it up and make modifications to the connection file and save it and send it back to the Revit user where they can then import it back into Revit. Next, we'll select the design code, which will be used in Risa Connection for our design. When you're ready to export the connections, go ahead and press OK. And what this little dialog box is doing is it's creating that connection file. And since I had that Launch Risa Connection box checked, it's going to open up Risa Connection. Here I can see the Risa Revit link report, which shows my connections which were exported over to Risa Connection for design. When I click OK, it's launching Risa Connection right now. Now that we're in Risa Connection, we can see all of the different connections that were transferred from Revit. In Risa Connection, all of these connections will appear graphically as well as underneath the Project Explorer over here. 
Uh, the first thing I like to do when I get into Teresa Connection is to solve the entire project. And what this will do is it'll create a connection report with the engineering checks and geometry checks for each connection. Um, and we can see a summary over here underneath the Project Explorer of um, the passing connections, what the unity checks are, as well as the failing connections over here. As an example, let's take a look at this girder beam end plate connection. After I click on this connection, I can pull up a more detailed view of this connection as well as see all of the connection properties to the right. Uh, the engineer can make modifications to the geometry of this connection as well as some components. Let's take a look at this connection report by clicking on the report button to the left. This opens up the design calculations for this connection and we can see all of the different limit states with the engineering and geometry checks. It looks like this connection is failing this beam weld strength check and if we click on it we can open up an expanded view with more information about this limit state. To resolve this I'm going to make the length of the weld a little bit longer by clicking on a 2D view and I can increase the bolt spacing here just by clicking on these entries and going ahead and directly changing them. And that'll make this plate longer. Now when I solve this connection, it looks like we pass over here in the Project Explorer so I can just double check the report and it looks like everything's good. After the engineer is satisfied with their connections, all they have to do is simply save the model and it's ready to be imported back into Revit. I'd also like to point out that there's this detach option at the top here which can be used when the engineer would like full control over the connection file. A detached model will become a standalone RISA connection file and the engineer will be able to change the member sizes, loads, and design code for this connection model. When you're ready to send your updated connections back into Revit, simply open up the Revit model and underneath the add-ins tab, click on the import connections button. You'll want to select the RISA connection file, and when you're ready to import those connections, click OK. After the connections are imported, you'll see them color code according to their code check calculated in RISA connection. If you make any changes to your Revit model, you can export the connections and round trip to RISA connection for design as many times as you'd like. Thank you for watching today's video.